My name is Valentine Thomas and I'm a spiritual woman. This is so exciting. So we're here in San Diego today to try to catch bluefin on the run and rail. Oh yeah, baby. There's a lot of fish right now in San Diego, so we're making fun. Anyways. <laughs> The biggest difference with spearfishing in the run and rail is the fact that, of course, when I'm spearfishing and in the water and I'm seeing what I'm going to catch. And with run and rail, is there is an excitement, there is a build-up that we don't know what's going to come up. We don't know how big it's going to be, and this is so much fun. Keep that bait steady. Ones and twos. See this stuff walk back into us. A bit. Hey, buddy. Finding those fish is definitely a big battle because you're gaining 5, 10 feet and all of a sudden you're losing 40 in one go. This is effort going away. <laughs> Sometimes I was getting a little bit discouraged, especially that I was hurting so much and then just to watch Matt and Matt and just laughing my ass off because he was losing so much line. You're doing great Matt, you're making zero ground. <laughs> Bluefin tuna is very a special species. In the US, we have very well managed fisheries, which means that by catching those fish, we're really making sure that what we're doing is not damaging the ocean. In my entire life, I've never actually seen schools of tuna that abundant, foaming on the surface, coming all the way out of the water, hitting bait. It's just phenomenal, and it's a great sign that this tuna stock is actually recovering. We're really seeing a success story of effective fisheries management. If we can continue to be disciplined in controlling the catch of these fish, this should just get better and better. Fishing is so exciting, and I really want to encourage people to do it because the fish that you catch doesn't stop with your day fishing. It's a whole process that brings us so much closer to the outdoor and to the ocean.